Right, hey guys, here we are, hole six. And I think notoriously this hole typically plays pretty nice tailwind and pro. So this hole does become typically kind of an easier hole. Yep, and there it is. We even got a large wind on top of it, making it even easier. Won't even need full top spin here. Um, if you, you know, you could go full power and maybe three or four bars. Um, so we'll see if this guy modifies his shot. If he goes full everything here, it may be too much. It looks like he is coming in. This, ooh, that great ball left might not help though. So you do want to, you do want to try to bring this back over the bunker a little bit. And anything to the left, you're going to see this is going to be leaking. Let's see if it holds. Nope. So as I mentioned, um, you know, you do want to bring this ball back over the bunker. So you'll see that I even spin it to the right kind of intentionally. And even with my Epoch 6, I should be good. I should have enough club to get this well over the bunker. So perfect ball there. Um, this should be perfect. That should be ideal. Nice large wind really helps me out. Um, because I typically won't be able to get it down this far, but I had the absolute max. So at 7.5 with the Titan, uh, I think that was a 10.0 wind. It couldn't have been any better. So I can't get it any, I can't drive that any farther with a extra mile six. So I essentially just maxed everything out there. Um, but what that does do is it, it puts you in a perfect spot. Even with a five, I should be able to get it over that bunker. I'll just have to make sure that I definitely overpower that full. For instance, I could have came in on that a little bit. I, with a 7.5, I didn't have to hit that max. However, I still did because I wanted to get it up here kind of a far away. I knew it wasn't going to be too much. And with an extra mile eight, it probably was too much. So I will need to come in on that. So make sure that you're making slight modifications if you have different clubs. And also, different winds are going to play differently. You can't play a shot at a 7.5 wind the same way you play a 5.0. And you could potentially have both cases. So you have to keep that in mind. So let's take a look. Um, what I typically do here is a rough bump. And you'll see I'm almost towards min club, which actually makes this shot that much easier. It's still a tough make, don't get me wrong. This is not the easiest rough bump to make in the game, that's for sure. But it is going to be very makeable, especially at min club. I'm thinking, what, five rings here? Maybe just a shade more. So here's five rings. Five and a quarter. We're going five and a quarter here. Perfect ball. There it is. So good opportunity for you, five and six. Able to get them both. So um, hopefully you guys are able to piece them together and get some nice holdouts here. Good luck, and I'll see you guys on the next one.